I forgot to turn the overlay off. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Adobe Live. We'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we are creating and streaming from today. We'd also like to pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. My name's Flynn and I'm here with Bianca Beers. Hello, Bianca. How are you doing? Hi. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Long time no see. So, so long. Um, <laughs> we're hanging out on Tuesday and we were taking through the process of creating animated GIFs. Um, yep. It was super cool. We did this um, sun with um, uh, things orbiting it. Um, we had a star, we had an asteroid. Would it be, is it called an asteroid when it's circling? I guess so. I mean, moon, Small rocky, moon. or satellite, an orbiting satellite, satellite, I believe. There we go. Yeah, Perfect. that's the word for it. <laughs> um, we did learn that you're quite into um, the planets and space and things like that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really cool. It was heaps of fun. And uh, we, we ended there with almost a complete animated gif um mm -hmm. so i figured we'd just we'd we'd just jump in where we check where in we left off cool can you see my screen now y yes we can so we're in photoshop oh gorgeous this is our, this so, is our smiley face is it a sun or it's like a, a smiley a planet. yeah i mean like smiley fair planet. enough it is yellow it, i yellow, understand why yeah. <laughs> so this was the image we had like different layers and then we just kind of like moved um the bits and pieces along uh we ended up with this um oh no it might not work now so we finished it off we cool. did 0 0.1 second for each frame so it's kind of fluid um and then to save this as a file a gif file what we do is file we go to export save for web legacy and you can choose how many colors you want to show but because i've done a gradient even though it takes up more um data i guess or whatever you want to call it i'm not a tech person um it, it's i think it makes it a larger file the more colors you have but yep. because i have that gradient i want to keep that so i just do the max colors is 256 that's what i'm on um and then something to pay attention to is no transparency dither have transparency on and then for the matte part do none so that i'm going to show you close up what the difference is uh 200 so it's fine for the black outline so if you have a completely black outlined image it's totally fine but can you see here oh uh, yeah yeah how it'll show like black pixels around the outline of this which is not yeah, cute we don't want that yeah. we do not want that mm -hmm. so what we do is matte none and then we save it it's already saved as a gif um give it a title smiley planet desktop gorge save and then I've already gone to the liberty of doing this. So we can see, for example, this is with um, no no mat. This is with white mat. See how very pixelated it shows up. Yeah. And then this is black mat, which looks basically the same here, but that's only because we're comparing it to a dark back background. So if this were a white background, you'd be able to see the black edging, which is yucky. We don't want that. So we've got the, not this one. So I believe this one was the one with um yeah nice and clean look at this it's so cool love it gorgeous <laughs> so this is the one we're gonna upload to giphy the website smiley planet 2. so now we're gonna upload to giphy which is what allows it uh your gifts to be searchable on instagram or whatever even in um, messages if you want to send gifts um so what we do we log in you have to create account if you don't already have one i do it's completely free to make an account it's no dramas at all so what we're going to do is upload our file it's a gif we've already made so we're just going to drop this in here bada bing bada boom and now we're just going to add tags so first tag we're going to do is name because we want it to be searchable um we're going to have smiley we're going to have planet we're gonna write Astro, we're gonna write Trippy. What's another tag? I think you get 10 max. Um, space. space, Galactic. I mean, nobody's gonna, Galactic? Is that is that something that's, what's a smarter word to use than that? Galactic. Universe, maybe. maybe. Universe, yeah, cool. Um, outer space, maybe, as well. Outer, outer space, space yeah. rather than space. And Bianca, which we learned in the, the first stream, um, mm -hmm. that's like nice handy way if you want to reuse your own, find it easy to search for. Yeah, we got that one. Um, what else should we do? Satellites, uh, orbit, orbit, 
Love it. Yes. Um, what's another one? We'll just do happy, cute. People are always looking for cute stuff. <laughs> um, all right. So we've got outer space, galactic, trippy, astro, Bianca Beers, smiley, planet, moon, star, maybe. All right. Cool. Um, and that's it. And then we upload to Giphy. And we can, if you want, you can trial it on private first to see how it goes. But I'm just going to go straight to public. The only thing with uploading these is it takes them about 24 hours to review your submission to make sure that it's basically G rated. Um, right. So this is not going to show immediately if I look it up on Instagram. I got to wait till tomorrow morning and it should be all approved by then. But yeah, cool. this is what it looks like. People can search it on the website now, but for it to show on socials, about 24 hours. So cool. now that we know the process the long way, let's get to just a short little two frame one to make it a little bit clearer. That's great. And just um, shouting out as well, like if you're watching on Behance or watching on YouTube, um, let us know where you're from. Let us know if you've created any um, Giphy stickers or, mm. or GIFs and have you used, did you use Photoshop? I love the Photoshop method just because I'm much more comfortable with Photoshop. Me too. Um, you know, but um, if you've used After Effects or something else, um, I'm sure you could probably use Fresco as well these days, like create like a yeah. little video and then export it as frames or something. You can mm -hmm. also grab video that you've created somewhere else and bring it into Photoshop as frames. Um, you yeah. want to make sure it's a very, very short clip or you'll end up with hundreds of uh, things. But there's lots of ways you can do it. It's amazing actually Many. how powerful the, um, the timeline in Photoshop is and it's been there forever. Yeah, and, really and I only funny. learned about it like maybe the last couple of years when I had to start um, doing GIFs. But yeah, it's been there for at least five, six years, yeah. the time that I've been doing these. Um, so right now, as I mentioned uh, the other day, uh, this is for a client and the theme for the GIFs is like kind of out of space. Um, so the next set we're doing is just a bunch of stars. Um, I dropped in a stencil which was this um from the from basically adobe catcher so in libraries it was here we did this yesterday um and i just singled it out but now we're cleaning it up so just make it a little bit cleaner it doesn't need to be perfect though because i'm not too fussed about that but what i am fussed about is the placement this guy is not going to go there we've got to I'm going to layer cut him because if we move him on the same layer, he can end up cutting into another shape and that's no bueno. Right. It's funny talking about capture. The one thing I use capture for so often is um, just making those patterns. Um, oh, I love anything. them. It's just super Don't you easy. Love them? And yeah, it's I do. so fun. <laughs> and like, honestly, I have this idea one day I'm going to make wrapping paper out of one of those, but they're just so fun. You can see I've got, like patterns here. I wonder, I could drop them in, right? Just yeah, so people can so. see. So you take an image, oh, could not transform. Let's see if we rasterize this, if I can make it smaller and stuff. It's totally off topic, but this is one of my favorite. Oh, you yeah, can't. I did bring it up. I did bring it up. My you problem. brought it up. You brought <laughs> hell upon everyone. <laughs> Never mind. but it's super fun. You guys should download Adobe Capture. It's such a fun little app on your phone totally free and you can do all these fun things like oh all these patterns are so cool i wish you could see them up close <laughs> anyway you can see them when they become wrapping paper <laughs> <laughs> just in time for christmas you got enough time now yeah. so oh, don't even talk to me about christmas i was really excited because um a jewelry brand reached out to me and they were like oh we want to um We'd love to collaborate with you for Christmas time on a on a collection. And I've been trying to manifest a jewelry collection for like the last six months. So I was so excited. Immediately, they were like, oh, we just need some um, some sketches maybe in the next month or two. I drew them that day and sent them through. <laughs> and it was such a cool concept. It was all about like grounding and um, like your inner power. In, like I selected stones that really represent like different chakras and energy fields. And then it ended up getting canceled because the, the label didn't have the, I'm going to say the resources to like get it going for this year. Right. And now I'm just salty. It's a shame when that happens. I know. It was something I was so excited about. Because it doesn't, I mean, you, you get work and it's fine, but projects you're super excited about and they come by every now and yep. then. 
you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, it's always, it t- takes you down a peg a little bit when it doesn't, it does. when it doesn't come through, even if it, even if you know, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Um, and most of the time it doesn't. Um, sometimes that can feel even a bit worse. It's like, oh, but I did everything right and I'm a perfect fit and this is a why? It's like, you know, it's and... why? Like I said, I wanted it, you gave it to me and then you ripped it from under me. <laughs> it's the way it goes, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the way it goes, honey. Yep. So we've got this little sparkle thingy. I'm hating how asymmetrical it is and I can't be bothered doing it better by hand. So I'm just gonna layer via copy this section and then Pre-transform, flip it vertical and move it up. And then I should have just duplicated it where it was. Let's do this. Layer by a cut, get rid of this part. Do you ever Stay. draw with the symmetry tool? No, actually, maybe I should. I, I, I have actually before I was like really into the mandalas, you know how it's such a, Oh yeah. it's such a, um, what's the word cliche. Like I feel like everyone does that when they're using the, um, symmetry filter, but it's so fun just seeing everything. Um, where's this mark coming from? You can see those marks. Oh, they're here. Cool. Um, all right. So we've got that and then I'm just going to duplicate it and flip it over again. Yeah. To answer your question. No, I don't really use it. I used to, when I first, um, got the software and I was just having a play with all the different effects, but now I just do stuff by hand, which is probably not as easy, but I like it to be a little bit off. So it looks a little bit handmade. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not completely. Exactly but mean. Yeah. That can totally be the danger of drawing with the symmetry tool. If it's exactly symmetrical, then. It can be a little bit off unless it's meant yeah, to be like, geometric yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but um, I, that's actually a good idea. I really want to play with that again. Because I'm actually doing a tarot deck with um, a friend and I feel like designs like that, we're drawing on our um, heritage. So she's Persian, Mexican, and I'm Lebanese. So there's a lot of like decorative motifs in our cultures. Uh, so I feel like if I've got to recreate those symmetry tool will come in handy. So there thanks for reminding me it exists. Hey, that's what I do. Hey, hey. Did you know about this tool in Photoshop? Uh, very handy. <laughs> with Photoshop at the very least. With Are Photoshop. you good with Illustrator as well? I actually prefer Illustrator over Photoshop. Do you? Um, yeah, not cause I think it's necessarily more powerful. I'm just much more comfortable, um, in, in there. That was, that was, you know, Everyone has their app that they gravitated a bit yeah. more towards. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, that was so, yours. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Illustrator. I feel like the people who can't naturally draw love Illustrator because it's like you can just trace shit that easily. That part could, of me, that, part of my French. That, that could be it. That could be part of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, not, not to throw salt on you at all. No. <laughs> love you, please. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I need to stop being so finicky here. But we've, this is just a two frame, so I don't think that we'll, we won't be short on time, I don't think. What's the clock looking like? Um, we're about a little bit under 20 minutes in. Cool. So another 25, something like yeah, that. Yeah, easy. Okay, today. gorge. Yeah. Um, cool. So I'm just going to put these. No, they should be on separate layers anyway, I think, um, because they're going to be moving separately. So we'll cut this guy out. Oh, I just love I copied that accident. Um, what else am I excited for? I've got a really cool project I'm doing for Meta actually at the moment, but obviously can't talk about it. Um, Meta as in Facebook Meta? Yeah, first time working with them, which I'm, oh, wow. I'm so excited about. It's and they invited one. me to, nah, I'm excited for that. That'll be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Give me a blue tick. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm gonna finish that blue tick don't you worry <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna make sure i get one of those um it's funny like my partner's from new york and over there it's a lot about that kind of stuff like the appearance of being someone so right. models and artists 
tend to book more work so long as they have that blue tick which is it's it's a good thing that we don't have that kind of culture here in Australia I, I don't I don't think we do because I seem to book lots of work here regardless but it's it's kind of easier in Australia because there's less competition you know once you're in the industry you kind of meet everyone you need to meet which is the good thing yeah. about it yeah but, yeah most yeah most of the creative industry is is pretty pretty small and have their own niche groups as well like um it feels very big when you're starting out but then after a while yeah. you start recognizing the names and the the brands and even the clients and yep. moving from one kind of company to another or starting yes. their own or that sort yes. of thing the longer you're around you realize oh everyone knows everybody <laughs> yeah. yeah and that's actually i only realized that maybe about a year ago i went to this uh ysl uh event because i had been working with them a little bit um, with content creation, so not art, but, um, actually I threw a little bit of art in there as well, but, uh, I met one of the, um, PR agents, I guess you could call them from the, from the, their PR. And she mentioned, oh yeah, I actually got you. I'm the one that got you on YSL because we loved your work at Nike. And so I just remembered yeah. your name. So always do a good job when you're working with clients, always be as I don't want to say as accommodating, but just cheery, like be firm, but fair. I'm never yeah. rude to clients, even if they are taking like four months to issue an invoice <laughs> payment. But yeah, you just got to be firm, but fair. Show them that you, you recognize and you're about it. You're a boss, but you're not going to, you're not going to throw shade. And that's how you yeah. keep your clients. Yeah, definitely. You never know where people are going to pop up. Um, yeah, you know, and like I said, you know, people start their own, start their own agency and things like that. Definitely mm -hmm. don't get taken advantage of. Um, that's no, no, no. Important, but um, it tends to happen though in the first few years, like I noticed. So don't totally. feel too bad if that happens to you because it's like almost a rite of passage. But when you get fed up, you'll know. <laughs> and <laughs> you'll know, you'll, you'll know okay. for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then you'll know. Okay, no more this. Then we won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's definitely actually, true. Like, you know, people that are difficult to work with can also get a reputation as well. So yeah, it's something to keep, something to keep in mind, um, depending on where you are in the world. Um, but I can only speak for Australia. Um, but that's certainly the case. Um, mm -hmm. certainly, certainly people are just like, well, cannot work with them because of this. And people do talk and you can find out about that. Um, yeah, you can. But again, look after yourself first and foremost. Yeah, look after yourself. But we're community beings. Make sure you're being good to others as well, as much yeah. as you can. Yeah. Um, I actually now recently uh, booked. Well, it was during COVID. Actually, I did a mural for because they um cool. they started sneaker authentication, and I'm super into sneakers. So they got me to do like a Jordans themed uh, mural for their uh, their headquarters. Um, yeah. And then because of, I booked that job because of a girl that used to know my ex 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 boyfriend and right. then she she got a job at eBay and then remembered me like it's crazy the way things work. Yeah. But now because of that, I've booked so much work with eBay because of that one job I did through someone who knew me from like socially years ago. Yeah. So yeah, just goes yeah. to show. And they obviously liked you. Like I know that sounds yeah. like, you know, people I talk really... about them being soft skills, but it's really important. Like it's it's really valuable to work with people you want to work with, yeah. and also from the client side of things, you actually want to give work to people that you work with, not yeah. a very talented person who is you don't very know difficult and to work with, or you don't know, or, or you don't like, or not. Not you don't know. That's not fair because it's important to give no, people not. a chance. Um, but yeah, it's um, much more fun, you know. Hundred percent. Um, and that's, yeah, it, as you said, it is a soft skill, but I feel like it's the most useful skill I have. Like, I don't think I'm necessarily a better artist than a lot of people I know, but because I'm able to talk and communicate myself clearly, but kindly, mm. um, I think it helps. It massively, massively helps. Absolutely. And it, yeah, you know, it's a skill to develop and it's a thing, something you can learn, um, over time as well. People think that, oh, I'm just can't do that, but you, you can mm. definitely learn that. Um, anyway, that's, um, there's some career advice from Bianca and Flynn. Yeah. For Thursday I afternoon. feel like that's important, important advice. And I feel like if you are antisocial and you want to do it yourself, you've got to learn those things. But if you feel like it's not something you're comfortable with, you can also just get a manager and they'll do that for you. It's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Um, I'm not loving this layout. What don't you like about but it? It's a bit clunky. I don't know. Let's minimize it and see if we can move things around a little bit and then we'll get to coloring and doing the frames. Maybe like this and then see. Oopsies. Perspective warp. I always accidentally click that when I'm trying to free transform. <laughs> Maybe the star goes up here. Yeah, that's kind of cute, I think. All right. So I'm just going to fill these. I might have to do them one by one because they're on separate layers. Select, oops, we don't want to feather it. Select inverse. We're going to do purple, maybe this color. And what I'm thinking for animating these ones mm. is maybe I'll have this one that I've just colored in kind of rotating just kind of back and forth like the two thing do, 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 do. so wherever the spikes aren't now they will be in the second frame if right. you catch my drift you know what i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> um and then for this one maybe we do the same and then maybe this big one just kind of pulses bigger smaller bigger smaller right that's what i'm thinking so that it kind of gives sort of a twinkling effect but a really lo-fi easy way to do it yeah it's cool yeah, we're talking a little bit, I think, in the last stream about the aesthetic of, you said the word lo-fi and like lo-fi and retro, like you see it with like retro ga gaming and things like that, how mm. popular like that is in indie gaming and, and things like that. It's definitely, it's like own own style and has a great, great place and um, yeah, creating gifts like for something that's going to, the hand. other thing is it's only going to be seen for like a second, right? Like a couple of yeah. seconds, like an in we're thinking like an Instagram story or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, so it's it's so 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 quick, um, and it's a good spot for it. Time and yes. place. Yes, like exactly, it. exactly. Where you can minimize, <laughs> <laughs> minimize that workload. Work smart, and, not hard. And you could um, you can make a very um, really reduced file size doing this as well. So if you yeah for for some reason if you're somewhere if you're new to this sort of stuff, and you really want to minimize the export. I think in the last one we did 256 colors, uh, mm -hmm. which I believe is the maximum you can do. This could be like, if you two. kept the same color, it could be, yeah, could be two. Oh, it, it is going to be two. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, should I do maybe one a different color? Should I do that? It's up to you. It's up to you. But um, if you wanted to, oh, that's cool. That pulsing thing works. Yeah. Right so away. yeah. Yep. And then we'll duplicate this <laughs> yep. one. Yep, I knew it. Two, the two ones are easy. It's just like, yeah, I know what this is going to be already. And then that's that. And then this one will be the same. But maybe I should do the big one a different color. Should we? Like lighter? Yeah, go for or, it. Because you made me feel subconscious. I'm like, yeah, no, two, you can do two. Them, You're they, like, um, um. <laughs> they can be all the colors of the rainbow. It is fine with me. I just wanted to let people know that sometimes you can kind of export something like well, why this why is this file size so big you know I, mm. i'm trying to remember use cases of when uploading a gif like wouldn't be um oh discord for example like um, right you could change your profile to be a gif but it might be restricted on the size because they don't want to yeah. be uploading your super mega you know a megabyte or something well, not a megabyte, but whatever. 20 megabyte gift <laughs> um, every time they're showing your avatar to mm. you know, hundreds of people or something like that. Um, yeah, so they it. want it to be a restricted size. So sometimes you have to back and forth a little bit of, well, how long can it be? Um, you know, yeah, how, how many frames? Size be? Yeah. Yeah. How many frames is how long it'll be? And then, um, yeah, like the file size, obviously, how many colors you've got, all that type of stuff. I'm does. sure this, yep. this as well, like the transparency and dither and stuff probably has something to do with it as well. But mm. I've never had issues. But then again, I've never been on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to think of an example, like current one, because you used to be able to upload GIFs as your profile pic for um, Twitter a long, long time ago. Really? Um, yeah. I'm new to Twitter. Showing my, showing my age. But um, yes, And I are. remember because I had one as an animated GIF and then uh -huh. it, I thought it was really lame because a lot of people didn't. And so I changed it and then they changed the settings, but it was grandfathered. So anyone that had a GIF, 
you could keep it. You just couldn't upload a new one. So there are oh. still accounts every now and then that will have an animated GIF and that's how, because they've had it for probably 10 plus years now. And I'm wow. very sad that I don't have <laughs> animated. Uh, yeah, like Twitter, I'm on there for all the NFT stuff, but I just, I find it so hard managing more than one account. Twitter, YouTube, yeah. Instagram, yep. Yep. and TikTok, so much. Yep. Um, okay, so let's get back on topic. I just tried to stuff I probably should have um, been just like talking about. But anyway, I basically made my movement. So as you can see, this star here, I wonder if I use the mouse, I've switched, flipped a little bit, same with this one. And then this one I've just made bigger, smaller. Um, so we'll be able to see how that moves when we um, create the animation. So right. let's just save these two as two separate PNGs. So merge, this will be frame. I'm going to make this frame two because I want the bigger, um, whatever you call this, um, to show first. So frame 01. Oh no, I shouldn't do that because we've already saved that. So we'll just do frame 01, not two oh ones. Yeah, cool. PNG, gorgeous, save, okay. Oh no, I wanted to save it as frame two, didn't I? I'm so silly. <laughs> frame two, there we go here, yeah, gorgeous. Cool. And then hide that one, show this one, merge and file. I wonder if I might even make this star thingy bigger so that we're maximizing the space. Actually, yeah, edit, free transform. We want to make sure it's kind of centered to where the other one was so it doesn't look like it's also moving as it's getting larger. All right, cool. Merge those and then save that as frame one, frame 01. PNG, save, yes, replace. Okay, so now we file scripts, load files into stack. And we're gonna do that. Frame one, frame two. Okay. And then let's hope it doesn't do that white background thing that it did last time. Hmm, well, that's yep, right. It didn't. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, and you were right. I think it was something to, because I saved it as a PNG without a background, but it still did it. So I just saved it again. Um, like the last frame, I saved it again under a different name and then dropped it in and deleted the other layer and it got rid of the white background. Right. Yeah. I think sometimes, cool. like sometimes when you create it, I mean, when you create a new Photoshop file, it almost always has a locked white background. And I think I saw something like that. So anyway, mm. didn't do it this That's time. That's never cool. happened to me. So that, no? yeah, didn't do it okay. this time. Love it. So now yeah. that we've got them both, uh, both the, the layers um, dropped into one file like that, nice and neat. We go window, timeline, create video timeline. I'm going to slide this down. We're going to move this one here so we know this frame comes after that frame. And we're going to click the two little duddies. And I wonder if we want to do 0.2 seconds or 0.1. Let's see. So chill. And when that's small and there's no square around it, it'll just look cute, like twinkling stars. Right. Um, do you think 0 0.2 or 0 0.1? Mm, one's too it's much. That's chaos. Bit, yeah, that's a bit disco. That's fine. Yeah. Also, when you actually save it as a GIF, it, for some reason, it act, the speed is different to how it shows on here, probably because the program's got to catch up or something. Um, but yeah, let's export. So we want to export it and check it out. Mm hmm. Export, save for web. This can be okay. Let's do four colors because you can't just select your own. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, six, four. Four is good. Um, matte, none. That's what we want. So there's no gross little pixels on the edges. And then we're going to save and we're going to save it to the Adobe file and we're going to call it. Twinklies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> Who am I? I like it. So, 
in Giphy again. And now we can do it all in one episode. How great is that? All right. Um, upload. Don't create because that's creating a GIF inside the Giphy app with text right. and stickers and other things. But if you've already made your own, we do upload. Upload the GIF file. It'll recognize it already. We're going to do twinklies. That's against a black background, so we can't really see what's going on, but it'll be cute against a photo or a video. And now we right. add tags. Bianca Beers. Always put your name in so people can search you as the creator. Stars. Twinkle. Twinkling. It's going to say twink, twinkle. Purple, because some people like stuff by color. Um, All right. Yeah, oh. it's interesting, isn't it? You kind of have to get into the head of... The, the person, people would that would use it for? yeah mm. so stars cute um purple twinkling uh twinkling is not necessarily but whatever it's just a nice descriptive word maybe sparkle sparkle it's totally sparkles. um and like what was that word that we outer space outer yep. space i'm not going to do galactic because i just don't we could do fireworks maybe because it goes hand in hand almost um because sometimes if they want like fireworks they'll have like different types of like fiery things and they might see that and be like oh actually yeah i could include that mm. you know what i mean um what else we got um star twinkle um i feel like that's really it but let's do bianca separate i always like to max you get 10 tags so i like to max out how you might know as well, and just might add, as well use yeah, them right exactly we did purple. What else? Um, give me an example. Come on, Flynn, help me out here. <laughs> Stars. Um, a, we could do space again. Space. What do we do? Twinkle, shine, do... sparkle. Shine. Shine's a good shine. one. Um, we did cute. What's diamond? another word for cute? It's a diamond. I guess, yeah. Diamond. Um, shapes. Yeah, shapes. Geometric. Geometric. Yeah. Just in case. I don't know if that's 10, but anyway, cool. Done. And then upload to Giphy. And then as I mentioned earlier, um, that will take about 24 hours for Giphy to review it, make sure it's G rated and it's good to go online. And mm. then by this time tomorrow, we'll be able to use them in our stories. That's and awesome. how much time do we have? Can we start on another one or? We've got about 10 minutes. Oh, well, we can quickly do that. We can, if, we can if you're start all right with it. We can yeah. start one. Yeah. We can start it's all one. Good if we, don't, we don't have to finish it off if we, no. if we run out of time. So that's fine. Cool. So I'm going to delete these. Oh, no. We're in the, the, the timeline here. Get rid of that. Go back to our original. I'm just seeing as we've already made it. Let's just create a blank, blank little slate. This one can be maybe a square. And I'm going to do a planet, like kind of Saturn slash Jupiter put together. <laughs> right. Does that make sense? So it's like a fictitious planet that's kind of taking notes from those two planets. Yeah, exactly. My two favorite planets. Um, we're going to do maybe 22, 22, mm, maybe 18. Yeah, that's good. All right. Smack her in the center. That's about center. Cool. And then I feel like let's just make this a bit bigger. So as I mentioned, you've got to maximize the space um, just so that your GIF shows up nice and as big as it possibly can when you're searching in socials. Because sometimes depending on if you've made it really tiny in the canvas size, it'll show up like I don't know if you can see this on screen, but like a tiny little thing. And then right. if you try to blow it up, it'll be pixelated. So the bigger you do it, the more resolution, the better. Okay. Um, so we've done that, but the reason why I've left all this padding is because I'm going to add a, what do you call them? Planets have. I want to call it a halo. Yeah, well, let's call it a halo. halo like it? what Saturn has, like ring, like a dust ring or whatever you want to call it. Right. Actually, but we want it longer than that because that's going to be the outside one. So shift and then that way we can make it longer. And then free transform and we're going to just do a little diagonal thingy. 
I wonder if, I think I even want it longer than that. So let's sort of run. Yeah, maybe even a bit more. Okay. And rotate it. Cool. So that'll be the outer part of the, like, let's, a bit more like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we're going to do, we'll rasterize these so that, rasterize and then we're going to do another one and i'll put it all together i feel like we could do this in 10 minutes what are your thoughts because it's just going to be a two two gif one as well like a two frame yeah, i believe you believe in me <laughs> you don't you know i do, <laughs> I do know. sometimes i need the validation <laughs> well that'll do hun that'll do all right so rasterize that we'll link the orbit together merge layers so this part here is in front, this part here is behind. So we're gonna erase. I wonder, hmm, I might make a duplicate just in case. We That's need a good it idea later. anyway, right? Just to have a yeah. safety. Safety net. So, stunning. Um, and then colors, what are we gonna do for colors? So, I think we're gonna go with purple maybe again because I, I really like that purple and it ties everything together and then maybe the pink that we used in the orbit of the other one because it's a collection right mm. so we want them to match people can put them together and then this for the the orbiting thing and then I'll do a lighter yeah I feel like I know what I'm doing so this is the Saturn aspect, and then for Jupiter, we're going to um, add like some storm ripples and whatnot on the surface of the planet. Do you get right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Cool, cool, yeah, cool. It gives it that like texture. It looks like it has like a, a lot of chaos going on. Yeah, a nice little storm. Meanwhile, I love this fact. See the, the red eye on Jupiter, the red, the red spot? Yeah. The big red spot? Mm -hmm. That is three times the size of earth or it might be 30 times but regardless and oh, it's wow. it's been a storm it's basically a massive cyclone and it's been raging for millions of years how hectic would it be to be in the eye of that storm it's bigger than our planet bro yeah. don't think you'd be there for very long no <laughs> i don't know about. <laughs> somehow <laughs> like oh my god and it's over yeah not not gonna happen but yeah, did, I babe. hear you. It's unfathomable, right? Like it's so insanely And the fact that we like, ugh, and we think we know everything. It's like, God, you don't know anything. Like everything <laughs> is ridiculous. I'm everything just realigning this. It is truly. I feel like that's more kind of center looking now. And then, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Now I was going to well, we'll get to that later, actually. Merge. So that's that. And then we'll add some texture to this surface. I'm just going to do a lighter purple, similar to what we did with the stars. So probably like here. And I'm just going to freehand this baby. What's the clock saying? Like, um, maybe three three minutes or so. Uh, um, you were going to say something. Um, I was going to say when you're choosing colors, mm -hmm. um, is this is this your process? You're like, yeah, I feel like purple. Yeah, I feel like pink. Yeah, like, oh, yeah let's just, let's do a red. Um, yeah. Is it is that generally you just go with the vibe of what you're feeling? Do you do you often <clears throat> I mean, different to personal projects, but, and I guess sometimes mm. clients give you these around yes. colors or whatever. Yes, clients will, yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, so when it's with clients, it is definitely like how I feel. So I never know. And also sometimes clients are like, hey, can we just like have a map out of what things are going to look like ahead of time? I'm like, mm. Mm. with me, no. Because I'll have an idea, but then when I'm doing it, if I don't like it, I can't, I can't complete it. So it's definitely like what I'm feeling on the day which mm. is also why I, I put a lot of work into like mentally being good because if I'm not in the space, 
um, mentally for work. I actually can't work too well. I'm probably on the spectrum. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, there's a little bit of that going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just how I work. I wonder if we should do a little, no, nah, we don't have time. Okay. Look, <laughs> that's fine. This is the body of it. I've just put it all onto one layer itself and this is on its own. Um, and then for frame two, I wonder if we just do it a little so it's jittering back and forth or should we do it like it's flipping around like that? Ooh. What do you think? Or like maybe like that? Maybe like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll hide this and then we'll do the same thing again. Just selecting this circle, selecting the inverse, and then I'm just gonna delete this part here that's sticking out. Oh, and it's also out of frame. So that's something to note as well. Um, so is that cut it off or you just need to expand the canvas? I'm hoping, I'm hoping I just need to expand the canvas, but it probably has cut it off. So then if, if that's the case, I'll just, um, I've got the spare layer. So I'll just do that again. Oh, no, oh, just still there. It still exists. Love that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. So we're trying to maximize. So we're doing it to wherever it touches the edge and we're not going to want it to be a square because that way we can all right, so gorgeous. And now we're just gonna crop it to both frames. You feel me? Right. So you don't want any extra canvas. Nah, what that for? You don't need. Yeah. Oh. Gorge. All right. That's fine by itself. Is this one? No, we need to do a little bit of pink behind there. And then we're Gucci. All right, that is so easy. Let's go. Nice. This is frame two. Merge. FRO2. FRO1. And then we're going to do this again, scripts, the files into stack, browse these two, <clears throat> wait for it to load in. How many, are we like going over now? Yeah. I'm like, let's go Photoshop. Load <laughs> <in>. Hurry up. <laughs> this should, should be, be this fine. is like two seconds. We don't need yeah. to do the whole process. We'll just go like this. Boom, boom. Two seconds. Easy. That's Yay. perfectly fine for a little decorative gif. You know what I mean? It's going to be like this big. Yeah. Cute. Very Gosh. cool. And great timing. We are out of time. Um, <laughs> this is super cool. Did three, three gifts. Um, the first one, first one was super cool. Second one was really great. So all the steps, you can see that at the beginning of this one, we've got all the steps involved. Bianca's taken us through everything, which is amazing. And then a fun one to cap things off right at the end. Bianca, thank you so much for hanging out with us and teaching us all about creating gifts, animated stickers. It's amazing. It's been great. No worries. Thanks for having me yet again. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> Always. Um, and thanks you. Thank you. Thanks you. Thank you for joining. Um, we are out of time. We'll catch you next week on Adobe Live. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.